Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, last week I wasn't able to record the video in the format that I usually do and do the voice over, I'm sorry. Time was a little tight with the upload of the previous words to my stores. Now I'm almost done with the backlog, so I have a little bit more, more free time. The painting that I'm doing today is actually to use uh, old uh, painting. It's not really a painting, it's something printed, a little weird that there was in the house before and I decided to do something a little bit cooler. It has been a long time that I don't paint animals. reason is it's not my specialty and it's so much different from what I'm used to do. So I have to actually research a little bit further to know how to work on it. On the previous line that I did, that was a while ago, a few months, I have found a lady tutorial that she did it with acrylic and after that I don't want to do any other way. So to do this one, I started with acrylic. I did pretty much everything in acrylic. Great thing is it dries so fast. And in that case, we don't have to do any blending, so you don't have to really struggle with the speed that acrylic dries. I'm not used to use acrylic. I do just use in situations where I know it is impossible to wait at the time that I have to wait for the oils to dry before I can actually continue with the next strokes. And the only thing that I used was an uh, old angle brush that is the best to do hair the oldest brush that you have that it is in the worst condition that the fiber the fiber it's all separated that's the one that you have to go for when you are doing hair or fur even for people hair it works very very well i dissolve a little bit with water the acrylic so i don't have the ink very thick because I don't want to make really bold lines, I want very thin ones. So it's always good to have it a little bit more liquid. Not too much until the point that you see that it is becoming a little bit watery and transparent when you pass on the canvas. And I went with black and white. Even if I wanted to add color, I could add the color later with glazing and it should just stay with black and white so you don't have to buy a lot of acrylics in case you work with oils. In my case, I do have one or another, but I'm saving that for sketching and I use just black and white when I have to do all my paintings. And it was really, really fun to do it. I use the transfer method with uh, the squares. So I made the squares on my, with the same proportions that I had on the original painting and then I passed that to the canvas because I didn't want to have an odd uh, shape. And after I finished the black and white part, on the second layer I went with oils and that was when I decided what was the artistic twist that I wanted to give to that. And since the original picture had a really warm and yellowish and orange look, I thought, okay, I'm going to give a little bit of a sprinkle of a very bright yellow in a few parts, the parts where I see that there is more color on the original. And I'm going to make a very realistic eye, not the kind of realistic that I have on the entire painting because it is a little bit rustic. I wanted that to contrast and then I pretty much just went with a uh, liquid on top because I didn't have any other medium to use or any other varnish because I didn't want to add any extra color. I added a little bit more strokes of black because the idea was that the picture would kind of disappear on the black a little bit and that was it. What was the best is it was so fast, so fast, so fast. Uh, the other line that I made, that it was kind of full body, also disappearing on the black, because I like that kind of drama on the, 
ona onu ona feeling like that. Uh, took me honestly 16 to 20 hours. That was a lot of time. And reason was that I started with hair by hair technique, and then I found out that video that showed me how to do with acrylic and a very old brush. And now I can actually see how much that is useful and how cool the style is. Four hours, four hours and a half to complete a painting. For me, it's a win-win. Uh, the video is not going to look so cool. I'm sorry for that. But recently, I, I was doing already streaming for some time. And even though I have the other camera that is not so good quality that I use to record while I am streaming with my cell phone, uh, sometimes it runs out of, uh, of memory and stops recording. And I'm not going to upgrade the memory of that camera because I prefer to someday upgrade the camera itself so I can have a really better quality when I am streaming. And a little bit more often you are going to see that streaming uh, screen because I really have to start streaming more and I was kind of split between doing the videos with higher quality for YouTube versus doing uh, streaming. So I'm going to start doing a little bit more streaming. Uh, this is the view that you're going to end up seeing for most of my videos now. Until I have some money entering from the store, from everything else, so I can record with a new camera. We're all invited to join my Twitch stream. The channel is Caroline with E Art, the same as I have here on YouTube. And mostly I'm going to be talking in Portuguese because I already have uh, most of my followers from Brazil. But I can chat on the ch on the chat, whatever it's English or Spanish. You just say hi in whatever is your language, and I'm going to reply to you. Right now it has been really fun because I started to have a uh, to have a lot of interaction, but so far just Brazilian interacting. If things go well and I start to have more people from other countries, may I may even split the sessions by language let's see how it goes and before i forget uh with my tiktok account caroline.with.e.art i'm going to make some kind of lottery uh once i reach 500 followers so please don't forget to check it out i still don't know exactly what i'm going to do but it's probably going to be about painting a request and do a lottery to see what whose request is going to be, or maybe have some characteristics to choose. So I'm going to follow whatever the followers vote more, like which color to use more, uh, a portrait, an animal, or a plant, this kind of thing.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the art. And see you guys in the next week. If you do like the video, please don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, help the lady here that does the video to feel a little bit more confident to keep doing videos. But no matter what, I'm going to keep doing. Thank you. Bye-bye.